In this night, we will discuss the common neonatal rashes in first step to CK. First is erythema toxicum neonatorum. It is asymptomatic, scattered, and erythematous macule, papule, or pustule, which is present in neonate throughout the body. And it is self resolving without any sequel, so no treatment is required. Uh, the erythema toxicum neonatorum is benign, evescent, and appears in first to second week of life in full term in fans usually. And rash can change appearance, but it spares palms and soles. It is uh, erythema toxicum neonatorum, whole body face, but spares palms and soles. Workup is rarely necessary if presentation is atypical, skin biopsy with a sterile pustule and numerous. Uh, which uh, suggests uh, has numerous eosinophils support the diagnosis of ETN. The other rash is neonatal HSV. Neonatal HSV, herpes simplex virus, we know present as vesicles. So first presentation is like a vesicular crustal, clusters on skin, eye and mucous membrane. Second is it can involve the central nervous system. And third is it can uh, lead to a fulminant disseminated multi-organ disease. The treatment for this is acyclovir. Here we can see the skin involvement as vesicular clusters in a neonate. Then neonatal varicella. It has fever and ranges from vesicular clusters on the skin to fulminant disseminated disease. So it also present as vesicles as we can see in the diagram and the treatment is acyclovir. Third is Staphylococcal scarlet skin syndrome. It presents with fever, irritability and diffuse erythema followed by blistering and exfoliation and positive Nikolsky sign. As we can see in this picture, the, the infant is red and erythematous. Uh, the treatment is oxacillin, nafcillin or vancomycin for staph. Thank you. Subscribe, like and share.